Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see top 100 questions on steel structures. These questions are very important for SSC JE, RRB JE, UPSC and other state PSC exams. So let's start. The forces acting on the web splice of a plate grader are Answer is Shear and bending forces. Next. Generally, the purlins are placed at the panel points to avoid bending moment in rafter. Next. Which of the following sections should preferably be used at places where torsion occurs? So where torsion occurs, we generally use box type section. Next. Other conditions being same, the load factor in indeterminate structure is. So the load factor in indeterminate structure is more than the load factor in determinate structure. B. Next, the effective length of a fillet weld should not be less than. So it should not be less than 4 times the weld size. Next, the maximum permissible span of asbestos cement sheets is. Answer is 1680 mm. Next, lacing bar in a steel column should be designed to resist. Answer is, shear force due to 2.5% of the column load. Next, shear buckling of wave in a plate gutter is prevented by using so you can prevent shear buckling of web in a plate gutter by using vertical intermediate stiffener. Next. The stress in the wall of a thin cylinder subjected to internal pressure is. Answer is hoop tension. Next. A column splice is used to increase. Answer is, it is used to increase length of the column. Next. The bracing provided in the plane of end post is called. So it is called portal bracing. Next, the allowable shear stress in the wave of mild steel beams decreases with Answer is increase in height by thickness ratio. Next, stiffeners are used in a plate gutter. So we use stiffeners in plate gutter to avoid buckling of web plate. Next. As compared to field rivets, the soft rivets are. So the soft rivets are stronger than the field rivets. Next. When the bolts are subjected to reversal of stresses, the most suitable type of bolt is. Answer is high strength bolt. Next. Factor of safety is the ratio of. So factor of safety is the ratio of yield stress to working stress. Next. The best arrangement to provide unified behavior in built up steel column is. 
by answer is lacing next the ratio of shearing stress to shearing strain within elastic limit is known as answer is shear modulus of elasticity next in a built up section carrying a tensile force the flanges of two channels are turned outward answer is to have greater lateral rigidity next the overlap of batten plates with the main members in welded connections should be more than answer is 40 next gantry girders are designed to resist answer is lateral longitudinal and vertical loads next the effective length of a compression member of length l held in position at both ends but not restrained in direction is answer is l next the live load for a sloping roof with slope 15 degree where access is not provided to roof is taken as so the live load value is 0.65 kN per meter square next steel tanks are mainly designed for so steel tanks are mainly designed for water pressure next when plates are exposed to weather tacking rivets are provided at a pitch in line not exceeding answer is 16t next the central deflection of a simply separated steel beam of length l with a concentrated load w at the center is answer is wl q by 48 ei next the heaviest i section for same depth is answer is ishb next the effective length of a compression member of length l held in position and restrained in direction at both ends is answer is 0.67 l next the property of a swell which allows it to be deformed rapidly without rupture elastic rebound and a volume change is known as plasticity next minimum pitch of the rivet shall not be less than answer is 2.5d next failure of the stability of slopes generally occurs along answer is a curved surface next for steel members exposed to weather and not accessible for repainting the thickness of steel should not be less than answer is 8 mm next the cylinder ratio of a column supported throughout its length by masonry wall is so cylinder ratio is defined as the ratio of effective length and radius of gyration and when a column is supported throughout its length then the effective length of the column will be zero so the cylinder ratio will also be 
जीरो सो आंसर इज ए जीरो नेक्स्ट बोल्ट्स आर मोस्ट सुटेबल टू कैरी आंसर इज एक्सियल टेंशन नेक्स्ट सेफ फैक्टर इज अ प्रॉपर्टी विच डिपेंड्स सो इट डिपेंड्स ओनली ऑन द ज्योमेट्री ऑफ द सेक्शन नेक्स्ट वेब क्रिपलिंग जनरली अकर्स एट द पॉइंट वेर वेर कॉन्सेंट्रेट लोड एक्ट्स सो सी आंसर इज करेक्ट ओके वेब क्रिपलिंग जनरली अकर्स एट द पॉइंट वेर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड लोड एक्ट नेक्स्ट The tension member, if subjected to possible reversal of stress due to wind, the cylinder ratio of the member should not exceed. So, for tension member, if subjected to possible reversal of stress due to wind, the cylinder ratio of the member should not exceed three fifty. Next, the Indian Standard Code, which deals with steel structures. is so is code for steel is is 800 next the ratio of plastic section modulus to elastic section of modulus is answer is always greater than 1 next according to is 800 in the merchant rankine formula The value of imperfection index n is so value of n is one point four. Next, Poisson's ratio of steel in the elastic range is answer is point three. Next, the design wind speed is assumed to be constant from the mean ground level. Up to a height of. Answer is ten meter. Next, for reversal of stress, the most suitable bolt is. Answer is friction grip bolt. Next, load on con connection is not eccentric for. it is not eccentric for double cover butt joint next the partial safety factor for the material of bolt is answer is 1.25 next proof stress for minimum bolt tension is given by answer is 0.7 FUB. Next, slip critical connections are designed based on. Answer is friction between plates. Next, prying forces are the additional. So prying forces are the additional. tensile forces due to the flexibility of connected parts leading to deformations so where is the prying force we have to select the tensile force option next the design capacity of a weld is reduced when the length of welded joint is greater than answer is 150t next the design norm the design nominal strength of a fillet weld is answer is fu by root 3 next a butt weld is specified by so a butt weld is specified by penetration thickness next 
in a fillet weld cross section the throat is the answer is minimum dimension next the effective throat thickness of a fillet weld is k times the size of the weld for a 70 degree angle between fusion faces k is answer is 0.7 next pick up the correct statement answer is all of these so groove welds are best suited where fatigue is expected groove welds have higher residual stresses groove welds are costly so all options are correct next for two plates of equal thickness full strength of fillet weld can be ensured if its maximum size for square edge is limited to so for square edge is limited to 1.5 mm less than the thickness next which one of the following is the mode of failure in a fillet weld material so mode of failure in the fillet weld material is shear next the thickness of the gusset plate should not be less than answer is 12 mm next the unstiffened top edge of gusset plate fy equal to 250 megapascal should be limited to answer is 42 t next a gusset plate is subjected to answer is all of these direct stress shear stress bending stress next which of the following is not a compression member answer is tie next which of the following section will be preferred for a column answer is ishb next the most suitable compression member section for a roof truss is so the most suitable compression member section for a roof truss is tubes next the function of sway bracing is to answer is all of these so the function of sway bracing is to stiffen the structure laterally to maintain a rectangular cross section and to control the drift so all options are correct next a column that can support same load in compression that is can, that it can in tension is classed as answer is short column so short column can support same load in compression that in can in tension okay in both the cases it supports same load so that type of column is short column next the slenderness ratio of a single angle single bolted strut should be less than 180 next the slenderness ratio of the lacing flats is limited to so slenderness ratio of lacing flat is 145 next the cylinder ratio of the of a tie member in truss subjected to wind loads and possible reversal of stresses is limited to so value of cylinder ratio is 350 for this case next splices for compression members are designed as answer is short column 
नेक्स्ट द इफेक्टिव लेंथ ऑफ अ बैटेंट कॉलम इज आंसर इज इनक्रीज बाय ट्वेंटी परसेंट नेक्स्ट द डिजाइन कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस ऑफ एन एक्सली लोडेड कंप्रेशन इन आई एस एट हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड सेवन इज गिवेन बाय सो इट इज गिवेन बाय पेरी रॉबर्टसन फॉर्मूला नेक्स्ट मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ बैटर्न रिक्वायर्ड इन अ बिल्टअप कॉलम आर आंसर इज फोर नेक्स्ट फॉर कनेक्टिंग लेसिंग फ्लैट्स टू कॉलम सेक्शन विद एटीन एम एम डायमीटर बोल्ट द मिनिमम विथ ऑफ फ्लैट शुड बी आंसर इज फिफ्टी फाइव यू कैन मार्क फिफ्टी फोर ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट विल बी थ्री टाइम्स द डायमीटर ऑफ द बोल्ट ओके नेक्स्ट अ बीम सेक्शन इज सिलेक्टेड एंड प्रोवाइडेड बेस्ड ऑन सो इट इज बेस्ड ऑन ऑल ऑफ दिस सेक्शन मॉडल डिफ्लेक्शन एंड सीयर नेक्स्ट बीम शुड बी डिजाइन एंड चेक्ड फॉर so it should be designed and checked for all of these flexural strength stiffness as well as local buckling condition next the effective length of compression flange of a simply separated beam not restrained against torsion at ends is k times the span where k is answer is 1.2 next the lateral restraint at the supports for laterally separated beam may be in the form of answer is any of these web cleats parcel depth and plates continuity with the adjacent span next the vertical members of a multi story frame should be designed as a answer is beam column next the deflection of steel beams in buildings other than industrial building is limited to a span divided by answer is 300 next for large span and heavily gravity loads which of the following will be economical answer is प्लेट गडर नेक्स्ट इन अ बोल्टेड प्लेट गडर फ्लैंज द एंगल सेक्शन यूज शुड बी सो इट शुड बी अन इक्वल एंगल विद लॉन्ग लेग हॉरिजोंटल नेक्स्ट इंटरमीडिएट वर्टिकल स्टिफनर्स आर प्रोवाइडेड इन प्लेट गडर्स टू Eliminate the web buckling. Next, a length x of a web on both sides of the web, acting as part of the bearing stiffener in compression, is. Answer is twenty T W. Next, thick web of plate girder fails due to. so thick web of plate girder fails due to shear yielding next the aspect ratio for end panel of a plate girder designed without using tension field action should be in range so it should be in range 0.6 to 1 next in plastic analysis the safe factor for circular section is so for circular section the safe factor is 1.697 next what is the hinged length for simply separated rectangular beam of span l with uniformly distributed load answer is l by root 3 
नेक्स्ट वॉट इज द हिंज लेंथ फॉर सिंपली सपरेट रेक्टेंगुलर बीम ऑफ स्पान एल विथ सेंट्रल कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड लोड आंसर इज एल बाय थ्री नेक्स्ट द इफेक्टिव लेंथ ऑफ अ वेल्ट इज टेकन एज द एक्चुअल लेंथ सो इफेक्टिव लेंथ ऑफ वेल्ट इज एक्चुअल लेंथ माइनस ट्वाइस द साइज ऑफ द वेल्ट नेक्स्ट द टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ माइल्ड स्टील फॉर बोल्ट एंड नट्स शुड नॉट बी लेस देन आंसर इज फोर्टी फोर के जी पर एम एम स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट विद अ परसेंटेज इनक्रीज इन ऑफ कार्बन इन स्टील डिक्रीजेज इट्स सो विद इनक्रीज इन कार्बन इन स्टील डिक्रीजेज इज डक्टिलिटी नेक्स्ट द मैक्सिमम परमिशेबल सरण रेशियो ऑफ कंप्रेशन मेंबर कैरिंग डेड एंड सुपर इम्पोज लोड इज आंसर इज वन एट्टी नेक्स्ट अ फिलेट वेल्ड हुज एक्सिस इज परपेंडिकुलर टू डायरेक्शन ऑफ द अप्लाइड लोड इज नोन एज आंसर इज साइड फिलेट वेल्ड नेक्स्ट कोल्ड रिवन रिवेट्स रेंज फ्रॉम इट रेंज फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेंटी टू एम एम इन डायमीटर नेक्स्ट इन रॉल्ड स्टील बीम्स सीयर फोर्स इज मोस्टली रजिस्टेड बाय सो सीयर फोर्स इज मोस्टली रजिस्टेड बाय वेब ओनली नेक्स्ट मैक्सिमम परमिशल सर्न रेशियो ऑफ अ मेंबर नॉर्मली एक्टिंग एज अ टा इन अ रूप ट्रस इज आंसर इज थ्री फिफ्टी नेक्स्ट इन अ ग्रिलेज फुटिंग द मैक्सिमम सीयर फोर्स अकर्स एट द आंसर इज एज ऑफ बेस प्लेट नेक्स्ट ऑन स्टील स्ट्रक्चर्स द डेड लोड इज द वेट ऑफ आंसर इज ऑल ऑफ दीज स्टील वर्क मटेरियल फास्ट एंड टू स्टील वर्क मटेरियल सेपरेट परमानेंटली सो ऑल कंबाइंड थिंग्स इज द डेड लोड ऑफ द स्टील स्ट्रक्चर नेक्स्ट If the thickness of a structural member is small, as compared to its length and width, it is classified as. So it is classified as two-dimensional. Next, structures designed using elastic analysis may be dashed than those designed using plastic analysis. Answer is heavier. नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिलेशन अबाउट प्लास्टिक मोमेंट इज करेक्ट आंसर इज एम पी इक्वल टू जेड पी एफ वाई थैंक यू वेरी मच फ्रेंड्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू